Plus. Happy to have you back with us here on Fox Soccer Channel. Jen Hildreth, Mark Rogandino, and the rest of the FSC crew out in the truck. Second straight week that we are here just outside of downtown Atlanta, Georgia, here in Kennesaw. He's a great defensive player, too, but uh, those two expect to see some battles for sure as they go at it in the center of the field. Oh, speaking of going at it, heads collide, get out. And both players going up in the air for the ball and just knocked heads rather than getting on the ball, and they immediately bring the stretcher out here. Champions a year ago in WPS. Kerr with some space. Plenty of opportunities to play the wide ball, but instead calls her own number from long distance. A chance here now. Long distance shot will go up and over the bar. Off of the Probably right. not very. <laughs> Good point. Served in. McLeod gets a tiny touch to it. Chance for Bachman out front! Side. Side netting on that one, I think. To a local hospital. And stitches received by Bon Pastor. Kerr here for Atlanta. Looking for a little back post ball. McLeod smothers it. Well, didn't get to see a look at it there, but I promise you that first look Abby now. is Abby. Chance on the other side. Gets caught in between some defenders. Little back heel. Looking for Meeks. And they're up one down. That's why Abby Wambach leads WPS in assists right now. Defenders swarming all over her. She's a smart, savvy enough veteran player who knows somebody's got to be open. It was Michelin on that time, and uh, chalk up another assist for Wambach and a goal for Michelin. Great effort here by Wambach. Well, it looked like she was going to have the chance, but then the nice back heel to provide it for the Norwegian International who fires it home. The Atlanta defenders were so caught up with Abby Wambach, three of them over there defending her, that Michelin was left wide open. Need a little more help there. Katie Larkin need to be a little quicker. Neal is there as that one floated a bit, but Ali Long will pick up the, se excuse me, the second loose ball as Michelin lays it off for Wambach. You can see the idea to try and bend it. Turnover right at the top of the offensive third. Bachman, long distance. Good save from McLeod. Now see, that's a good idea. That's a good shot there and that opportunity. And you saw a quick shot over there on the sideline. Bachman trying to probably snap that back with the chiropractor. Here comes the shot, it goes just wide. Second time, that certainly has the speed to get into it. Turnover though, now a chance for the counter back the other way. It's Bachman leading the way as the Freedom Defense backpedals toward the top of their 18. Bachman still on it, calls her own number, tipped over the bar. There's some of the excitement the Atlanta fans have gotten used to. And just Freedom come back the other way. Cut inside, Kia McNeil beat, and the shot goes just wide in the corner. Pops loose here for Larkin. Chance to step in. She knows how to attack. Did it very well. And Collins just wide on the chance for Thompson. This Atlanta team right now seems to probably... Larkin, good vision to find Thompson. Thompson, first time to release Ramona Bachman. Red jerseys quickly shuffling back defensively for the freedom. Bachman onto her left foot. Deflected out. Freedom. Opens things up wide as Sauerbrunn will bring it across the midfield stripe. Has ball passed her out wide, and that's where she feeds it. Abby Wambach wide open at the back post. There, can head it home, and it's 2 0. You called it, Mark. When you start a sentence, Abby Wambach wide open, that is bad news for the team trying to defend her. sports and unmatched coverage of your Atlanta Bees. Bachman. Little window, lays it off instead for Ocampo. The shot, and no rebound. And Sesselman was following up. Had it from the other side. I think Kia McNeil, though, might be a target. That ball intended from Kerr for McNeil, and that one rolls across the six.